What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Doug and Pony. I'm Doug and Pony and this is Death Road to Canada. We're doing well. We're, you know, now we're doing even better. Let's recruit Lucerne to the team. Glad we got a familiar face here. It's We're in just regular Deadly or Road mode, but we've encountered no random characters, one rare character, and one familiar face. Will is cool about fire safety. Excellent. And his morale goes up. You'd think everybody's morale would go up, but that's fine. We're at a good point in morale right now. Lucerne could, you know, get a little bit more, but we're going to go to this crowded Yalmart. Very thick, calm swarm in the morning. Let's go bargain hunting. At what point will the music change? Is it once we click play? I feel like every time I hit a button just now, I was expecting the music to change, and it didn't. It still didn't. Weird. Okay. Getting a lot of these, like, grocery store slash Yalmart encounters, and I like it. Because with these, you can pretty much get anything you need. Yalmart, we can get ammo, gas, guns even, on top of the food, even medical supplies. Um, pretty much everything can be found at a Yalmart. But, um, even if it was just food, even if we were just getting crowded grocery stores, buy everything we need this is a pretty empty parking lot let's get inside see what we can get here all right first two things i see are the shotgun ammo or yeah was that shot that was shotgun ammo yeah and uh some medical supplies over on the side i see a little bit of food too we are not gonna stay in here very long what we're gonna do is mm, you know what no we're gonna stay in here uh, i was gonna say we should go outside in a second but i really don't think we have to All right, Lucerne, just be careful. We haven't even really... Tr we trained strength for everyone in the group except Lucerne. Because he wasn't here for the siege. And uh, other than that, we haven't really gotten many bonuses to our stats. Which is uh, usually a bad thing. But this time around, it hasn't been a problem. We're getting easy encounters. The extreme modes might actually have more zombies than uh, just regular deadly or road mode. I thought they were just... I thought familiar extreme and uh, rare characters extreme were just... Um, essentially, I thought they were to deadlier road mode as... Uh, Familiar characters and, ex and uh, rare characters mode without the extreme were to normal mode, which might be the case, but it really seems like they also just have more zombies in them than deadlier road mode. So I don't know. There's a lot of food on this shelf here. At least what? Oh, it's only two. It looked the way it's spread out. Those ones each looked like they were two items. So I thought that was four items total. But it was just two items that each looked like two items. So only two items. Here's the break room. Anything in it this time? Looks like no. Just some zombies. Like a knife, some skeletons. Um, two pieces of wood that just look like a really big piece of wood. Weird. Okay. Yeah, nothing in there though. Nothing of value. How much food do we have in the car? 57. Plus whatever we get here, which is going to be at least like, what, 25, 30? Some bullets, a lot of gas that we're picking up. More than a full machine... machine gun. More than a full... Chainsaw's worth of gas. That's the word. That's what... Yep. Machine guns don't run on gas, by the way. Uh, they run on bullets. I mean, in real life, they... I don't know. Aren't there, like, gas-powered rifles I think that's a thing that exists like sniper rifles they use gas cartridges as well to make bullets go extra hard I need to drink some water no toilets I forgot to look at how many we need I think it's 11 so I guess I'll just try not to open a full 11 in this video you know what? no we'll no, we don't... I feel like we should... Save the... 
Toilet Genie for the next time we get a rare character. This run seems like it's pretty much a, a shoe in We're gonna win this one at the moment. I mean, that could change in the next 30 seconds. Who knows? But 77 food, 92 more gas up to 183, doubling our gas supply. And one more past that too. 17, we're like, we're so flush with loot, but we're about to be on foot. And I bet we get every bad encounter on foot and just go from like amazing to terrible in a couple seconds. Will's mechanical. It's probably not great, right? It's unknown. We do know one, don't we? Oh, I guess not. Um, Will gained mechanical though, right? Yeah, he definitely gained mechanical in that city of traps. The chassis is in perfect condition, so because we have so much food, I'm going to have him attempt to fix it. If we have to waste a day's worth of food, that's fine. Will attempts to fix it. His mechanical was as bad as it could have possibly been. It only fi and you know, having been trained once. He completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it, so we lose eight food. We were prepared for that, at the very least. We weren't... We were... Hoping against it. Oh, jeez. Long day. Okay, Lucerne's morale went up. We're safe. For now. From, uh... From, uh... That one encounter. Drop half of loot and run? Oh, God. Half? How much can we get into our hands? That's it. Okay, I guess we gotta drop half of our loot and run. It's gonna be so much loot. And Will gets hurt at the same time. That's so much pistol ammo. So much food. Oh, come on. Why? Last stop, junk and salvage. Well, we got a car. So there's that. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, try to get it. Let's try to get that car that we got. Gas. Excellent. I want to kill these, like, three zombies here. There's a fourth one, and there's a one coming out of the building as well. I just want to give ourselves a little bit of leeway on getting back out of this building, though I really don't think it's going to be a problem. Are the keys going to be in here? I'm going to guess no. They're not. One medical supply. That makes up for the eight we just lost. Seven? How many was it? And Will got hurt, so technically we lost even more medical supplies than they subtracted from us. Will's not healed yet, but he will be soon. We might need four for that. It depends on what the fencer's uh, medical skill is. We don't know it. Morale's just looking terrible across the board. That's what I was afraid of. As soon as I said, like, we're doing so good, there's no way we lose this. I was like, why would you even say such a thing? I don't believe in the concept of jinxing it, that me saying that impacted how how this would play out in any way. I just, but I do believe in the power of irony. So, there you go. Ooh, that was like a, like a Always Sunny in Philadelphia pre-title scene. There's no way we can lose this one. Dog and Pony loses a run. Do 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 do. I really like it's always in, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I we recent oh we recently rewatched we recently rewatched a lot of that show. I think we just need to rewatch uh, season 12 at this point, and we're, we're all the way through the series. I think we finished season 11 pretty recently. We also started watching Prison Break. It's such a great show in that it's very fun to watch, but I don't, like, like Prison Break now, not Sunny. It, it's weird. It's so unrealistic and just, the idea that like five times per episode, it's like, everything's going right. Uh-oh, this thing went wrong. 
all right, we fixed it. Everything's going right. And then at the end of the episode, there's a cliffhanger where everything goes wrong. Very, very wrong. And then they fix it within the first 10 minutes of the next episode. And then, uh... Something goes wrong again. It's so... I don't know. Just, they keep... I feel like they don't need to write in as many problems as they do. They could just have the resolutions to problems take longer. Let's get into the car. Uh, not more like in show time. Like sometimes it'll be like this problem lasted two days, but we shot it in about 10 minutes. I like the show. It's a good show. And it's airing again. Uh, I've never seen it before. So we're on like season two. I'm excited to watch season five like 10 years after the main series got aired it's you know that's a that's cool but we don't need to do anything just drive away um yeah it's cool i'm excited about it morale's going down but we're all healed i don't know what just caused morale to go down the dink door door of dinks the group comes across a huge uh a huge house just a regular house by the road it's locked while trying to smash the door down a voice calls out Leave my door alone, you dinks. I think we could tell her to cool it, and it'll be fine. Let's just say I'm not a dink. Uh, you are a special. You, you are an especially huge dink, you dink. Jolene, Jolene, sorry, is infuriated and smashes on the door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. Uh, composure and attitude are both revealed and decreased. I think cooling it might have caused problems for us usually when you say cool it but don't have it charged it's a negative effect i was thinking i mean we didn't want to try to recruit her so i didn't want to do that let's uh tell let's eat marshmallows plus two food finally something went right for us here in this episode i mean the first encounter was great don't get me wrong but then it seemed really downhill from there we're gonna go to the camp supply shop i want to say there's a chance we can get a chainsaw there, but I know that's not even true. Camp supply shop, but I don't know why at this point. The restaurant would have at least had a little bit of food. I mean, maybe a chainsaw. I, I really don't think so. But I can hope. Ah, all right. We've been watching something else too. We've been switching back and forth between Prison Break and something else. Oh, okay. Shameless. Which is just getting ridiculous. That show started out, like, the first season, I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. I liked the characters. And it was like, yeah, these people live in a bad situation, but they get through it. And this is how they get through it. And then, very quickly, it just kind of became like... Like... In the first season, there was like one or two moments where it was like the writer saying, hey, don't forget, this is a TV show. Like it was just one, of, you know, made for TV moments kind of thing. Now there's six in every episode, six of those moments where it's just like, oh, that's happening because this is a TV show. In real life, that would never happen. In the first season, it was like twice. That you'd say in real life that would never happen i mean uh, the the overall premise of the show is pretty crazy to begin with but ignoring that aspect of it it's you know realistic but yeah the we're, we're on like season five or six at this point and it i, I haven't enjoyed it in a while Eh, it's not even necessarily true. The characters are still fun. If, uh... If not frustrating. Okay, good. Somebody did pick up the sturdy machete. I was worried I was gonna have to pick that up and force it into someone's inventory, but I didn't. Sturdy machete's a good get. Not as good as a chainsaw, but... Still pretty decent. I mean, it's great, let's be honest. It's a, it's a great weapon. It isn't a chainsaw. But it's... It's good. I'm not going to complain about it. Two more houses to loot. One of them might just... All those doors are blinking, like, simultaneously. And then that one's not. Like, four of these five doors are blinking at the exact same moment. And then one is 
like one f like h half a phase out of sync it's weird I think it's weird anyway Ooh. Ooh. This is a good room. Three food, three food, eight bullets. Uh, we don't have a... We don't have anything that can shoot bullets. We've got a shotgun. That's our only gun right now. We had two shotguns. I got rid of one because we didn't need two shotguns. And we still don't. And we probably won't for a while. Ooh, a purse. Oh, we're not going to take it. I still don't know if it's actually good. I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling somebody told me it's not. But then I would... I think it was just like the the placebo effect of when I was using it or saw someone else using it. I was like, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think it's supposed to be like an ironically good weapon. Like, yeah, you know, this isn't real life. This is a video game. So the purse, while it would normally do very little against a horde of zombies, is actually really great. Like, uh, in the same vein as the... Cardboard tube, you know? Cardboard tubes would be a terrible weapon in the event of a zombie apocalypse. We shouldn't have come in here, but I don't think we're going to lose any health or anything. I think it's just going to be a pain to have to fight all these zombies. And that's uh, maybe worth the extra loot? Who knows? I mean, we don't even know what the extra loot is yet. Ah, uh, this is just a room full of debris. This was... Most likely not worth it, based on what we've seen so far. Come on, keep keep bashing. There we go. And, uh, totally not worth it. Let's go. Oh, we might get cornered. Sandwiched is more realistic. I say that a lot. Okay, let's go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Overall, this was a nice amount of loot. 17 food is not a small amount of food. I mean, that's two days worth in one in one encounter. And we already had a lot. Not as much as we could. Um, pay twol... Twol? Pay toll of 20 food. Pay twol of... 20 food? I, 20. 20. 20. Huh. Uh, I kind of want to just take a detour. <laughs> Yeah, it's not worth it. I should have just let Lucerne die <laughs> by having him say, cool it. Would that have caused any problems for anyone else, or would that just be like, Lucerne dies, the end? Talk about something else. Morale going down. Stop stop grumping each other out. What are you guys doing? Everybody is slightly frowny face right now. Ranting man. Knock him out. Alex's morale increases, and we got some food. Medical supplies and ammunition. Not enough to make up for the... Will? No, 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 no. We got to stop for food or we're going to get a... Oh, man. Okay. We're in bad shape. We're going to get a fatal argument. We haven't had one in a while. We've been pretty good at managing our morale lately, but this is rough. Easy medical college. I don't think it's worth it. Um... The assault rifle. No, that puts us at not really enough food. And uh, we don't need that either. Who are you? Outdoors, Outdoor fitness lifestyle is just a liar. Not good at anything. We're leaving Jackie for now and forever. Sorry, Jackie. You're not one of our familiar faces, so don't know why I'm apologizing. I really think... Hopefully we could tell someone to cool it. I wasn't really paying attention. Say it, don't spray it. And uh, Lucerne's medical is terrible, which we knew. No fatal argument. No fatal argument. Please just let us camp and eat. Everyone needs to hustle. Lucerne says someone in the group isn't pulling their weight and demands that they get kicked out. Who should leave the group? Um, unfortunately for Lucerne, he's the only one that hasn't been trained. So Lucerne is getting kicked out. Alex's morale goes up. Will smiles a little. But his morale is still super negative. House siege. The group is surprised. I, Me too, honestly. I didn't expect this. Uh, by a large horde of zombies while scavenging. They run into a house for shelter and plan their next move. It's a massive horde in the late afternoon and it's going to be an hour long. I said that the next time we had a siege, we'd be able to more than handle it. And I think 
that that is still true. I'm going to give Will the hatchet. He doesn't have to use it if he doesn't want to. I think he'll probably choose Kung Fu. Unlike uh, Alex, who has a sturdy machete, which is dang good. Box of food. No, box of medical supplies. I don't know why I said food. It was already revealed when I started that sentence. I think I was trying to say loot, and then I just kind of slipped up there. This is... Yeah, I was right. This is pretty easy. I hope those words don't come back to bite me. Or, you know, zombies either. Love how that expression works out in this game. Because I love that expression. It comes back to bite ya. That's a great expression. Let's go into this room. Alex, don't die. Okay. We got a shotgun it. I was wrong. This isn't super easy. I wish I was strong enough. Okay. We're good. I wish I was strong enough to uh, lift that table back up into this little hallway. I don't want them getting stuck on the walls. Like, obviously we didn't need to go back that far, but Alex keeps running up into that little area and I don't want him to get caught in the horde there. Now that, the, now that they're not spawning, we don't have to worry about them showing up behind us, which is why I was continuing to use the shotgun to begin with. That's a decent amount of loot. I mean, we used eight shells, and that's not great, but we didn't get hurt at all, so cool. Let's go, and that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Both of those things help out the channel a whole bunch, and I will see you in the next episode.